Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm back today with another haul video. I've got some really fun things here, some surprises, things that I just sort of um, bought on a whim because I thought they looked pretty interesting. Turns out I've got a winner here and there. So let me start with this giant blow mold. Earlier in the video from, uh, from I guess it would be yesterday's video, uh, this woman who had a giant bigger than this one, Santa Claus blow mold. And blow molds are pretty popular right now. And I was like, darn it, she got the blow mold. Uh, we're after Christmas at this point, but I'll put it away. And I think I could sell this in the booth for a pretty good amount of money. But uh, I paid $5 for it. So this one is older. And it is marked on the back here, Carolina Enterprises, 1973. So it has a little age to it. So I will stick this in uh, somewhere around the house. I'll pull it back out. Uh, next year for around Christmas time and sell it in the booth. I think that it can sell for around 24 to 30 dollars locally. Um, it has pretty good color on it still and five dollars is a great price I think to pay for a vintage blow mold. So that was a score. Now this item here I think I'm actually going to keep but it's very kitschy. Florida. Look at that. So I'm getting real mid-century vibes from this. We've got the fun blue color, this really poppy blue, and then the pink, and there's a flamingo on it. It says Florida. So I believe that this is a mid-century tourist uh, vase, basically. I mean, it makes sense. It says Florida right on there. So I paid $3 for it. I didn't even take the sticker off the bottom. Let me see if there's any, uh, there's no other writing on it. And from, I did a little research, but I, I didn't find anything immediately on this. So I'm not sure how prevalent the, these things are online. I think if I was to sell this, I could do pretty well with it because it's not really a common thing. Uh, but I really like it. So I'm gonna hang on to it for a while. Now I think there's been a repair done right here in the center, unfortunately. There's this divot, an indent, like a little, I, like a smooth smoothed over chip looks like it's been glazed I don't know how they fixed that so um I'm just gonna hang on to it I'll put it with my collection of like kitschy Florida stuff uh fl flamingos I'm apparently collecting flamingos now ah. but um yeah so I will hang on to that one and I think that's the yeah that's the only thing I'm gonna keep out of the the haul so that's off limits but this is one of those surprised I, surprise items that I, I thought it looked cool. I immediately bought it because of the leaves on it. And I recognize the glaze as a Majolica type glaze. And I tend to gravitate towards that. And it also is made in Italy. I liked the feel of it. It had a nice porcelain feel to it. So yeah, I paid $3 for it. Took a chance. So I looked it up apparently Yes, it's made in Italy, but what I'm finding is something called Vitri Foglia. And I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. Vitri is a city, city, is a city in Italy. Did I say Italy? It's a city in Italy. It's a city in Italy. Um, so that's what Vitri is. Foglia is a Latin based term meaning leaf or foliage, I guess. So we've got these really fun uh, leaves on here and this is beautiful. It's a really nice bowl. Tiny little chips, very, we call them flea bites. They're tiny little flea bites here and there. I am actually gonna get some green watercolor. That's my go-to. Green watercolor and dab those in and then take a tiny, tiny bit of clear shellac uh, nail polish. It's not called shellac, is it? Clear coat and then I just, dab that on there so that that shine and it protects that uh, porcelain. But it's a reversible process, so it's not gonna hinder the, the value in any way. So I think that, um, I don't know, it, it does a great job in keeping that, that um, porcelain protected. So it doesn't get worse. It doesn't create crazy and all this. So, plus it looks better. So $3 I paid for that. I looked this up on Worth Point and one of this exact thing, it's a footed bull for 30, $33, right around $33. It's pretty good. So I think with shipping, I'm gonna put it up for around 40 and it's a pretty collectible um, item. So really happy about that one. So yeah, about $40 with shipping included. 
Now this right here, I might wait to stick online because of the color, but it is a marigold carnival glass. And I have a little bit of a collection of carnival glass in the, um, the amethyst and cobalt and a little bit of green. So the darker colors. I, I don't really collect the marigold, although it is really pretty. So these are from around the 20s or so. They're very uh, deco in a way, uh, the shape of them. They're made by Jeanette, by the way. And a lot of times people call these crackle because it does have this crackle, um, I don't know, effect on it with the way it's been molded. And then uh, also people call it tree of life. So that said, there is one chip somewhere. Where, here it is. One chip. I think I might have the best chance of selling them for a good amount of money come fall. And that's a ways away. Um, but I don't know. I could also maybe just stick them on Etsy and let them sit for that many months. And Because people, I don't know, you know. So what I'm thinking though, because I have shipping included and they're not light. I think I want to put them up for around $30 with shipping included. Maybe a little bit more. So they're, they're really nice though. And that chip. So if, the, if they did not have a chip, I might go as high as 40, but because of the chip, I'm going to just say 30 with shipping included. And hopefully I can net about 15 or so on it after cost of goods is taken out and the shipping and all of that. This item here is something really fun. I, I, I love it. If I wasn't a reseller, I would hang on to it for a little bit longer because it's beautiful. It's made by Westmoreland. And this was at Savers for $3.99. And it is known as Bramble. Bramble is the name. So this pattern, and it, uh, let me tell you, it's also marked right here under the lid, or on the bottom of the lid, the W with the G for Westmoreland glass. They interlock over top of each other. I, I just think it's beautiful, and there's no chips or cracks. Just, oh, I like it so much. So I think 40 with shipping included is gonna do it on Etsy. This item here, I'm actually still not sure what it is, but it was 50 cents. It's this poodle. Oh my gosh, it, I don't know what it's supposed to hold. It has these two holes on the top of it. Could it be for pencils? Ooh, maybe it holds scissors. You could do like a lot of things with it. Uh, paint brushes. And I paid 50 cents for it and I just grabbed it because poodle things are pretty desirable. And um, I don't see any maker's mark on it and it really, holds it, it it presents itself to me as one of these um kind of home crafted paint project kind of things just because of the thickness i guess is of what i'm thinking of the thickness of it so um yeah i'm not sure on the value of that probably around twenty dollars twenty twenty maybe about twenty four dollars with shipping included for that poodle there's a minor paint loss on the eye on one eye in particular but very cool Okay, so I did get like a little baggie of items and Aaron talked me into it. Um, I, I mostly just got it just so that he could have these train whistles, but they were, it was $2.99 for the bag. So it has two Grand Canyon train whistles in it made of wood. They're tourist made in China. They have a website address on them. They're really cheaply made things, but he wanted those. So hopefully he enjoys them. He better. Um, the rest of the stuff that came in that bag is just junk, really. Uh, this is like one of these little country looking, it's metal. It's a metal snowman birdhouse. So I don't know what to do with that. I could maybe stick it in the booth for a couple bucks, but it would have to go next year because Christmas is over. Uh, this is the top of a box from probably the Dollar Tree. It's like a lid. So that's just junk at this point. Don't have the bottom for it anyway. This has a lion or an L on this side and then like a, uh, a dragon. Um, I'm not into, uh, I don't really know much about, is there something called fireball? But what's with the L? So that looks like a fire, that fireball alcohol drink. So I don't know what that is. And then we got like a little doodad picture frame. Again, Dollar Tree. And this was also probably Dollar Tree. It's one of these little jewel boxes it's um ceramic and painted it's pretty but it's like one of those made in china dollar tree dollar general 
kind of things. Not terribly old either. This here is a spoon rest. Very cool, Florida. I think it's really cool. So I did pay $3 for it and you can hang this on the wall as well. So I just decided to grab it. I was about not to. I kept looking at it, setting it back down. But at the end of the day, I just, I had to. So I'm gonna stick that up online. I think I could sell it for about 20 bucks with shipping included. And it may or may not be able to go first class. I think it's light enough, but the box size and all that, I have to see if I can find a box lightweight enough and long enough and all. We'll see. I'll double check that. Worst case, I might have to put it up for like $24 in order to get that shipping taken care of. But it's a really cool, um, looks like mid-century era again, Hitchy Florida Souvenir Spoon Rest. This item here was really cool. It's one of these resin pressed flowers inside of it, so it's really pretty. And it actually is marked on the inside here, Gamut Designs, a very retro 70s font on there. It says Made in USA, and I paid $3 for it. No chunks missing out of it, no chips or anything like that. I think this will sell really well online and it's just really cool. So uh, probably about $30. I'm gonna try for about $30 with shipping included on this really nice napkin holder. It's very, uh, very 70s. So just have a couple things left. This item here is very perplexing and I'm not sure what kind of animal this is and I don't even know if it's old. I am leaning on not old, but I didn't want to make a mistake, so I bought it anyway. It has this very mid-century form to it, very minimal, minimalistic looking. And it has the spaghetti string detailing, which is very prevalent in the 50s, 60s. The thing that is throwing it off for me is whenever you do look close at the finish of this, you see brush strokes and you see almost this antiqued look to it. And that is what's making me a little suspect about it. This uh, sort of antique looking smearing going on with, with the glaze, let's call it. And uh, the bottom is a little too white for me. It's a very clean white ceramic. So um, yeah, I, I just don't know how to feel about this, this piece here. It could honestly be pure one for all I know. But if you happen to have a clue, drop it down in the comments below because uh, I am at a loss for what to do on this one. Because I don't know if it's vintage, I'm thinking it's gonna have to go on eBay and maybe I'll just throw it up as auction if I can't figure it out. And we can see what happens with that. It is cool, no less. It could be also an ant eater, I guess. It's one of those animals that Whatever you think it is, it's what it is. So it's very adaptable. I think we all need one of these. So what it's worth, I have no clue, but I paid $4 for it. Okay, we've got just one thing left and um, it's a wonder that I bought it. It looked so familiar whenever I saw it at the store. This was at Goodwill, I think. Yeah, it was $2. I thought that was a great price for a biscuit jar. But the hilarious thing is I've got this exact same biscuit jar, exact, in my booth right now. So, yeah, it of course does not have the handle, which affects the sellability of it. And so I don't know what to do if I want to stick this in the booth with the other one or what I'm going to do. But for $2, I, I felt like I had to buy it. It is made in Japan, so it's from the uh, 20s, 30s time frame. But all in all, that is the haul video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. There are a few things here that's gonna pay off for me, I think. Really exciting stuff. Thing, some different things. That Italian, is, Italian bowl is something I haven't really came across before, so that's fun. And for sure, this milk glass bramble. Oh, it's so cool. Those are gonna be going up shortly on Etsy. But with that, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.